This is a compost thermometer and uh, basically it's just a thermometer with a very long uh, you know, you know, prong on it to measure the temperature uh, down at the far end there uh, so that you can stick it into your compost and get a reading. Right now it's May 22nd uh, here in uh, northeastern United States and it's a lovely day outside. It is 75 degrees ambient temperature or air temperature and uh, here is my general compost pile from mostly uh, it's probably about uh, six to eight feet across and three feet deep and about uh, three feet high and I will just fill that up with leaves and um, throw in my kitchen scraps when I have them and now I'm just gonna stick this into here we go again it's 75 degrees or so outside uh, and now I'm gonna stick the end of it right on down into the compost and watch what happens Temperature creeping up, up, up. And right now I'm at about 105 degrees. Uh, maybe a, just a tad over that, 106, 107. So, um, so basically we're looking at the uh, compost here. Uh, this is, that'll go out of focus. Sorry, I have it on macro mode. It's, uh, you know, this compost is now it's about 30 degrees or 32 degrees or so above uh, air temperature. Uh, so certainly warmer an air temperature here. Up, oh, actually now it's up to 110. Yeah, you know, so um, yeah, and again, remember we started off at uh, 75 degrees. So we got yeah, so we got about uh, you know we got a good a good stretch there. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to show you. So that of course is 35 degrees above air temperature. I'm going to show you the other half of my compost pile, which, sorry if it goes blurry for a moment while the camera refocuses, uh, this uh, section off to the left where I just did it, it was 110 degrees. This section off to the right is basically made of the same stuff, but I haven't turned it in a few months. So we're going to see what happens here. And you can see we are warmer than air temperature. Uh, we're at about, oh, what's that look like? Maybe about uh, 75, 85, 80, somewhere between maybe 85 and 90 degrees. Um, but nowhere near the 110 degrees uh, that we had off to the other side there uh, where I had uh, turned the compost or basically, you know, for me all that entails is uh, using my, you know, handy dandy uh, pitchfork here and basically you know chopping in and giving it a good pull and basically pulling it up you know pulling the stuff from the bottom uh, up to the top and the stuff from the sides into the middle uh, and I had done half the job here uh, in uh, in making that uh, in digging up my compost or turning over my compost uh, about a week ago so last weekend and um, I thought I would just take this opportunity to use my handy dandy compost thermometer and see if that really made a difference and obviously uh, it did so the pile off to the left that I turned you know last week is cooking along at 110 degrees so certainly not perfect but uh, pretty good for a first time composter in his uh, backyard compost here uh, and the pile off to the right uh, made of the same stuff again uh, which is mostly you know leaves uh, some flowers that uh, my wife and I had uh, the um, you know we also throw in you can see bits here of uh, shredded paper from our uh, paper shredder uh, so things like that go into the compost along with kitchen scraps so same stuff the only real difference was the side on the left got uh, aerated uh, got got some air by me turning it over and then way over here is last year's compost uh, from actually a year and a half ago uh, that was relatively finished last year and I'm going to stick it in to here and see if that will focus here we're coming out at just about the 75 degrees so just about air temperature so really this compost is you know essentially uh, essentially finished uh, or as close to it as I can uh, as I can get with my uh, my own you know sort of uh, backyard uh, you know amateur uh, technique but it's relatively relatively earthy and I'll be able to use that uh, you know places around the garden all right, so that's just showing the compost thermometer.